Amen. Amen. Why don't you go ahead and grab a seat. Welcome again. If you got here a little late, my name is Pastor Greg, and we're so thankful to have you. We're grateful to have you. The final week in our sermon series that we've been doing called Attitude of Gratitude. And in the course of this series, really, we've been looking at some things inside of our life for us to be grateful for. And isn't it great that it ends the week of Thanksgiving? That in just a few days, a lot of us are going to be sitting down and really thinking about what are we thankful for in our lives. Well, more than anything, really, what I want us to consider this coming week is in the midst of the traditions, in the midst of the football and the parade, in the midst of eating turkey, right? I want us to really consider taking some time to be grateful and taking some time to be thankful. Thankful for sometimes just the little things in life. You know, a lot of times we're rushing, we're rushing, and we have this destination, these goals, these things we're trying to achieve, these things we're trying to get done. And a lot of times we forsake all of the little things in our life that get us to that place. We forsake all of those quiet blessings that we continually partake in our lives that really makes the difference. In fact, today, for today's message, I, I asked a, a friend of mine, a member here of the Place Church, to share a little bit of his story and his journey as I've heard how God has continued to help him appreciate the little things in life. Will you guys give it up for Bill Grace as he heads on up here? Woo, woo, woo! Good morning. Thank you all. Like you said, my name is Bill Grace. I've been asked to share a little bit of my story, my testimony. You know, the older you get, the more story you have, huh? <laughs> uh, but I was raised here in Wickenburg uh, forever and ever ago. Yeah. I gave my life to the Lord standing right here in this church when I was 15 years old. I have a wife, uh, four kids, five grandkids. In 2010, I had had back problems. I'd been putting it off and putting it off because I didn't want to have the doctors cut on me. And finally, I went until I couldn't put it off any longer. It was bone on bone, and it was just a mess. And so I went in for a surgery. A surgery turned in to be multiple surgeries. I spent a total of 22 months in bed, and then some. Uh, and there were still problems. The doctors couldn't figure it out, and so they told me that they wanted me to come to the Mayo Clinic. And so we moved back to Wickenburg, just my wife and I. Uh, my kids are grown, and like I said, I have grandkids. So the Mayo Clinic, they did all of their tests. They're very thorough, and uh, they couldn't find out what was wrong. There's nothing wrong with the surgeries. They couldn't do that anymore, but they couldn't fix it. it was, they told me that it was permanent damage and uh, that I would just have to deal with it. At one point, I couldn't feel either one of my legs and uh, still pretty much in bed all the time. And it was a very difficult, difficult time not only for me, of course, but for my wife, because life was such radically different for us. You know, I, I had multiple businesses. God had blessed me in uh, work and all that I did. We had, uh, I was a builder and a developer and had several projects in Colorado, in, in New Mexico, Mexico, Panama City, Panama, uh, exotic cars in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Caesars Palace. I did work in the oil field. So to say the least, I was never home. And then all of a sudden, I'm home 24 <laughs> seven. My poor wife didn't know what to do. And I definitely <laughs> didn't know what to do. It was, you know, and it wasn't just a short thing. You know, it was months Then months turned into years. And during that time, I was just, you know, God, wh what is going on? And, and, uh, my wife was definitely thinking the same thing. And, and so in seeking the Lord, um, he told me, he says, I want you to put me first in your life again. And hindsight's 2020, don't you know? And so looking back, I can see that God put me in a place to where I couldn't do it at all. I couldn't get out of bed for one. And then I, the work went away and and I was very much used to handling it. You know, multiple business, even one business, you gotta get it done, right? And I had several, and, and so I was used to making things happen, and God put me in that place to where uh, I, 
I, I couldn't, there was nothing that I could do and I'd never been there before. And as I said, it not only was it strange for me, it was strange for my wife. But in looking back, he did so many things in that time. You know, I honestly, I think I forgot how to relax because I was just going and it was uh, accomplished and goal oriented and take care of this and take care of that. So during this time, even though uh, it was so hard, and believe me, it was the hardest thing I think my wife would say that she went through too. But during this time, the hardest time in our lives, God uh, put us in a place to where he could love on us, to where he could mold us. When we talk about what are we thankful for, you know, we, you don't even think about walking until you can't walk. Our every step hurts, you know. You... Uh, you start judging things by how many steps <laughs> will it take me to get there because it hurts so bad. And so I am very grateful, first of all, to God for my salvation. I'm grateful to God that I'm not in bed anymore. I'm grateful to God that my wife is still with me. I know her, we've been married 30 years and I know her better than ever in a new way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that couldn't have happened, I don't think, if I hadn't have been just sat down for so long but uh god is so good as i say i'm grateful to be out of bed i'm grateful to be here in wickenburg i'm grateful to come into this church with this church body i love coming in and seeing gilly every sunday and that smiling face and ben and the other people and uh all of you i'm just grateful to be here and thank god for you and for this church amen <laughs> Woo! What an incredible testimony of God's goodness, goodness about a perspective shift, a perspective change. I believe probably there's a lot of us that can relate with that. But things are going one way for a long time, and then God has a way of sort of pulling the rug out to reframe our perspective, to see things through his eyes and not just our own, our own eyes of achievement. Bill, that was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing.